सो गाइज वेलकम टू द सब्जेक्ट प्रोजेक्ट मैनेजमेंट फर्स्ट चैप्टर व्हिच इज सेइंग दैट द इंट्रोडक्शन टू प्रोजेक्ट मैनेजमेंट सो इन दिस चैप्टर वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न द बेसिक ऑफ प्रोजेक्ट द बेसिक ऑफ प्रोजेक्ट मैनेजमेंट द इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ प्रोजेक्ट मैनेजमेंट व्हाई प्रोजेक्ट मैनेजमेंट इज इनिशिएटेड बेसिकली वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न दिस पर्टिकुलर थिंग्स एज यू कैन सी फ्रॉम दिस स्लाइड्स लाइक वी आर गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड द कंसेप्ट डेफिनेशन एंड नेचर ऑफ प्रोजेक्ट what are the challenges of project management and who is project manager what is his role role what is his responsibility why his position in a project management is very important then further we will move to the importance of project management in a general way or in a specific way of the business means we will talk about the generally why project management has been started or why project management is important for any purpose then we will move to the specific re importance of project management then we are going to understand the project management process group means what are the different process through which project has has to be gone through then finally we will wind up this chapter with the help of triple constant of project management so let us begin with the very basic things which is called as project the meaning of project the definition of project as you can see in the slides there are four different definition of project but before coming to the slides let me tell you one basic things about the project whenever the name project comes to your mind you should have the very clear picture that the every project has the starting point and the ending point every project has certain purpose every project is temporary in nature whatever i am talking about these are the nature of any project whether the project is very simple like a, you are going to organize a party with your friends that is also a project or a project can be very complex like a scientist isro scientist or nasa scientist is going to launch a satellite in the space so project now if i am going to define project in a simple way i can say that the a project or project is a group of activities which is temporary in nature having a starting point and the end point and have a certain purpose a project must be finished or must be stopped either it will be successful if you achieve its objective or it can be a failure if it is not able to achieve its objective so by keeping this in our mind we can define project like this like if i am saying that you, with the help of your slides like a simple or complex non routine why it is saying non routine is because it's not a daily activities we are doing a business like if the business is related with the education teaching related with the teaching like research like all these things are the routine task but if i am saying that we are going to organize a seminar it's a project it's a non routine task it's not a daily activities one time efforts limited by time means it has to be started it has to be finished it may be with the one month for the purpose or two months like that budget so these all things has to be there for the project if you see the second point it is more clear that the a project is a temporary endeavor employed to create a unique product service or a result project can be of any size or duration very small or can be very big in size duration for for a one day also can be for the 20 years also therefore project may be defined as the mean of moving from a problem to a solution via a series of planned activities so let me define again in a very simple way that a project can be defined as a group of activities having a starting point and end point moving from a problem to a solution project can be as simple as planning a party or as complex as launching a satellite so this is the basic definition of the project then what is project management as you know since first semester of your management whether you are learning a bba or mba we all know what as management is this is 
if somebody asks you what the management basically is, you can define management in two terms. Whether you are saying that the management is all about planning, organizing, leading, controlling in such a way that we can get the desired result or effective and efficient result. Or I can say in a very simple way that management is all about effectively manage your resources. Okay, what are the four major resources? We all know that the land, labor, capital and enterprise is the four major resources. So by keeping this thing in your mind, how we can define project management? We can say project management is all about how you manage your project in such a way that you can get the desired result with your limited resources or whatever the available resources you have. So if you see here, project management is the planning and control of event that together comprises the project management aims to ensure that the effective use of resources and delivery of the project objective on time within cost constraint. As I told you, management is all about managing your resources. Why? Because resources are limited. So like the very basic things, everybody has a 24 hour. That time is a limited for everyone. But somebody is successful by use, utilizing that time very effectively. Somebody is not very very much successful because he is not using his time effectively and efficiently. So in a short way again, if I am saying to define your project management in your own words, you can say that the project management is all about managing a project in such a way that you can get the effective result or desired result with your limited resources. So let us move to the further example. Examples of project. Here we can get the examples from various places, from various industry, from various uh, what you call as the <clears throat> like development of a software. If you are saying software is a project, it's not a project. Development of a project means we have the planning for a software. We have uh, initiated the resources. We have arranged the people. We are doing the activities for that one. So these all things comprises from the planning to the closing is called as a activities of the project. So development of a software is a project, a major enhancement to the software. You are changing, you are upgrading, you are updating, filming a motion picture, developing a film, even when we are planning for making a movie. So the, making a movie is a project. You have started a project in the month of January and you have completed in the month of December. You have developed all these things. So building a new office, designing a new product or services, even changing, changing into a product. Like Samsung has upgraded from the S1 to S2, S3, S4, now it is a step. So this is all about the changing in the product. Creating an advertising campaign. So these are all things. If somebody is saying that the business is a project, business is not a project. Starting a new business is a project. Relocating your business from one place to another project is a, is a project. But when you're you have started your business now it will become a what you call product and then all day-to-day -day activities your routine task now inside that product or a system now in that particular system whatever the new things you are going to do like within a university university is a system within a university you are going to construct a new building it's a project so these things are the basic examples of the project. Now the next question is why projects are initiated means why projects are started. There are various reasons and we are generally stuck to our by keeping things in in our mind of the business. Like when we starting a new business it's a project. You are going to start a new business you have the planning you have the budgeting you collect the money, you arrange the people, you take the rights, you have filled the form, you have taken the permission from the government, you have started. So all the things till your business is ready to run, is good. it is called as a project. Then again, when your business is started, it becomes a system. In order to develop or modify a product or a system, starting a business, after that within a business, when you are going to develop any new product, it's a project. 
when you are modifying a product or a services it's a product project or services again for relocating and or closing a facility relocating here means you are shifting your business from one place to another place even when i suppose a bank has the four branches and bank is planning to again open one more branches fifth branch that is starting or planning or doing all the activities for that fifth branch is called as a project then that fifth branch is completed then it again become a part of a system or closing a facility suppose one company has the five product one product is not doing very good other four projects are doing doing very good so what company is thinking that let me close this product so closing of that product is also a project if you are closing in a smart way you are going not going to lose more money so project doesn't means anything you are going to start for that one even the closing of a, any facility even you are going to planning to close your business like a starting of your business is a project closing of your business is also a project you have the plan to close your business within 3 months so that you are not going to uh, take a more risk you are not going to take a more loss so that is also a project for regulatory mandate regulatory mandate is basically from the government point of view government has made some law it is not from your own so by keeping this law you are going to change in your business or like for for example government has said that the all vehicles should be of this from this next year of vehicles should be shifted from what you call as the p2 p3 to p4 the shifting from the p3 all companies are making p3 vehicles let let us say this examples a type of vehicles they are making but government has said no a type of vehicles is polluting the environment so you have to make the b type of vehicles so shifting from a type of vehicles to the b type of vehicles it's a project then company has changed the way he is developing the vehicles he has changes some in the technique some machinery or you can say the another example of the government government regulatory mandate is because of the regulatory mandate project has been started like suppose government says there is a ban of the poly bag or polythene bag so all companies who is making that poly bag has to change their business or they will shift from the poly bag to the uh, from the poly bag to the paper bag so shifting from the poly bag to the shift to the paper bag it's not because they are going to get more benefit it is because they this is because of the regulatory mandate let us come to the next one for some community issue community issue in society within the society if community issues are there like near the school if one business is there which is making more noises so it is not against the law because he took the but still people are have some complaint people have some issue that students are learning over here and you have open your business so they distract they disturb their health is going to be. so now you are changing your way of doing business by staying there or you may relocate from there this is called as the for some community issue in order to reengineering the process to reduce the see basically reengineering is not only for the small benefit you are not going thinking about the 10% to 20% 20% to 25% profit you are thinking about the big changes you are thinking about the big profit that is the reengineering or the business process reengineering we are called as the bpr basically in the bpr whatever your production is you are thinking from the 100% to the 200% changes 200% to the 500% profit this type of things in when a company is going for this is he has to do many changes and this reengineering of the process means changing the total way of doing the business why to reduce the complaint to reduce the cycle time to eliminate the error this big things they want to do it so even you can say that the shifting from the manual to the computerized it is also one of the way of the reengineering changing the complete weight way a uh, complete software to a business this is a reengineering to getting the maximum benefit of course it is also risky to implement a new system or a process you are going to start a new system within a system you or a process you are going to change the process how we are going to take that one to introduce a new equipment tool or technique 
so new implement new equipment tools or technique these are also the reasons why a project has been started understand you understand why the project has been initiated many reasons are there it may be for the reasons of the business itself it may be for the reasons of the government mandate it may be for the reasons of the community it may be reasons for the closing it may be reason for the new machineries new new equipment so these are the reasons why project are initiated for for any let us move to the next one this is very simple things nature of the project till now till 15 minutes whatever we have discussed if you understand those things i believe that you can understand even you can frame by yourself this nature of project even the first one is saying the same thing the first one is saying that the nature of a project as already mentioned projects are temporary with defined beginning and defined end this is the most common things of the project it's a temporary in nature having starting point and the end point they also have the temporary opportunity and temporary team obviously it is related temporary temporary opportunity means we know this project is for this particular purpose and when this uh, this we are going to fulfill this purpose our opportunity has been we can grab those opportunities and of course when we are running or when we have started a project as the project is temporary those people who are working over there is also a temporary so project has a temporary team now for example in my business 200 people are working in a 50 50 from the different 50 people are there in marketing 50 people are there in finance team 50 people are there in it 50 people are there in operation or for 20 25 people are there in human resource now we are going to start a new project we require 20 people so we may take few few people or two or five people from the each department for running this project when this project has been completed again this people has been shifted to their original place this that's why this project is known as a temporary project project are terminated when the objectives are achieved or conversely if objective cannot be met the same thing see anyhow we have to close the project if it is successful we achieve our objective if it is not successful we may give some extension like suppose we have planned to complete our project in 12 months and we see that the almost 90 percent of the project has been completed if we give two more months we are going to achieve our target so we give some extension that is okay but if we think that the this project has not been completed because of the various reasons and we are not able to finish even after six months because the objectives are not clear to many of the people so let us stop over here so this project has been finished but unsuccessful or failure this is the basic meaning most of the project last for several years however they have a finite duration the same thing even project is going for the 20 year but still that project has to be finished finite duration like country country is saying that the within 20 year we are going to going to be polio free country so it's a project is for the 20 year but finite duration is there two year two days 20 year all are finite duration depend upon the complexity of the project you define the time you allot the time they involve multiple resources and the required close coordination multiple resources human resources are there like a project manager his team superintendent actual worker non-human resources machineries are there money are there techniques software these all things are there and they require close close coordination of course one person or so superintendent has to be correlation with the manager then the who is going to be report to whom who is going to be give the order to whom who is give, who is working on which type of machine so close coordination is there with that they are composed of interdependent activities interdependent activities means sometimes we cannot start all the activities together like suppose activities b is going to be start after completion of activities a c cannot be start when until unless we can complete the a and b d can be the independent activities but it is also depend upon the e e cannot be started so various activities are depend upon other various activities 
This is the basic meaning of that one. Has a specific time, cost and performance requirement. Of course, we have to fix our time that we can going to achieve or we are going to finish this project within this time frame with the help of this much of money and this type of requirement is there. So these are the nature of project. If you understand the definition of a project or if you understand the nature of the project, you can easily define the project. So till now we have seen that the what the project is, what is project management, what are the reasons or why project has been started, what are the reasons behind the starting a project. Then we have moved to the nature of the project. Let us see the next one. Next one is saying about the the challenges of project management. You know, every business, everything which has the opportunity, challenges is always there with them. We have seen because of the resources, in the resources we have the resources regarding the human resource. And human resource is known as the biggest asset for any company. If, they're ma if they manage well, like if you see the first one, must induce the right people at the right time to address the right issue and make the right decision. When we are going to start a project, we should have the clear idea which person is going to do which type of task, who is my project manager, who, who is his subordinate or subordinates, who are the supervisor, who is reporting to him. Because these things are like, like let, let me tell you one basic example of the right people at the right time for the right purpose. Suppose our project is more or less related with the software. We are going to develop a new software. In that case, suppose we don't have the people or we don't have that manager who has a basic idea of the software or even he doesn't have the experience of the software and he we made him because he is easily available. He is available at the low price or he is our own staff and we placed him as a project manager. This is not a right decision because he is not the right people for the right project at the right time. So even we have to find out the person from the outside we can have to take there. That is the basic one. Again, the project management lives in the world of conflict. The management has to compete with functional department for resources. Of course, see, people are working together, but sometimes the conflict is there. Conflict is what? It is, it always not, the conflict is not always bad. If we manage the conflict, it is giving us the right result. If we are not able to manage the conflict, we are going into a negative result. So what the conflict is all about? Conflict is all about when a person or a group or a company is not agree with the idea of another person or a group or a company. This is all about the conflict. So you are not agree with my ideas. So we have the conflict. We have to sit together. We have to resolve this conflict by any way. Whether I, have, I will convince you my idea is better or you have convinced me that your idea is better. So this is this is the one of the one of the challenges conflict is there because until unless we resolve the conflict it will be a challenge for us to moving further in a project in every project client wants changes and the parents organization aim at the maximization of profit this is again another challenge see two companies are there one is the parent company who is developing a project another is a client it's also a company client can be a government client can be a private party client can be a international party so client always want maximum benefit parents always wants maximum parent organization always always want maximum benefit maximum benefit in what sense client wants the best project at the low cost the organization which is developing the project what he want he want the maximum profit at the low cost maximum profit or whatever the project he has to offer it. He, he want to give the best product, but he also want to maximum. So this is also the one type of conflict. And sometimes what happens, clients wants changes. We are developing a project after few months, after few days, clients say, no, let us make some changes in this one. This is also one challenge, how we can cope up with that. Responding to the deadline and changes. So we have targeted for six months to complete this project because of the sort some things if we are not able to finish this one say within six months uh, from seven months when we are going we are planning to take the benefit from this project we are into the loss of that one so responding to the deadline 
sometimes it's a challenge you have to move very fast if you are not plan well and sometimes some changes are coming from a client side from the uh, other competitive sides so you have to make the changes also and you have to also the finish on time so this has to this these are the challenges and every projects are facing this type of challenges like deadline issue like the change in the manage change in the sometimes change in the management change in the demand of the customer change in the resources strike these type of challenges are there and also sometimes unavailability of the appropriate resources like you see here the major constraint of the completion of the projects are time resources availability and need of to achieve the required standard of the performance of sometimes whatever the whatever the resources we require we got it we do it on that one sometimes because of the various reason because of the uh, not the enough money with the organization we face the problem sometimes resources are not coming on time we face the problem so these are the some challenges and every project is there there is very common challenges and those company who are making a successful project they are easily able to manage these challenges now the most important person of any project we are going to talking about talk about him the project manager who is he what is his responsibility and why we are saying that the he is the most important person of any project first remember one thing project is not a one person job project is a team work but being a project manager he is like a captain of a ship so identify the best person for the best place for the best project at the best time or the right time it's a one of the uh, we can sometimes we also say that there is the half half of the work done because project manager manager is always the face of the project he has to do many activities so by keeping these things he also has to be many skills like project manager is not only the experience in that particular field with the project which is going to handle he has also the skills of the management he has also the skills of the leadership he is also the skills for the how to manage the conflict so various skills must be required like here we are talking about the responsibility of the project manager there are various responsibility like managing his team organizing the team giving the duties to them ab let us start with from the first one to plan thoroughly all aspects of the project soliciting the active involvement of all functional means the planning for all the project from the beginning to the end one of the major responsibility of the project manager he may take this responsibility of the planning by different way he may plan by himself he may plan with a group of team he may plan with all the people who is involved in the project second one to control the organization of manpower needed by the project he has to control the all the team not only control he has to also recruit the people who is required for the that particular project sometimes he has to uh, give them or kick keep them out those people who is not required for them that particular project to control the basic technical definition of the project ensuring that technical versus cost trade off like these are the basic things means how much cost will be there what are the technical things is required so these are the responsibility you remember one things when we are learning a management we learn about the three skills one is called as technical skills one is called as human skills one is called as conceptual skills basically to be a good manager or to be a good project manager you must have the three skills technical skills means you should know what the things is required basic work of that things if i am talking about the software being a manager i should know how to develop this software what are the language i am going to take if somebody has developed i should understand how he develop where is the limitation where we are going to use so this is my technical skills human skills being a project management managers is giving him the idea how to manage the people human skills how to manage with their conflict how to manage with their communication how to manage with their uh, further movement means managing the people about the human skills then the conceptual skills how to manage with the big big issue like how to manage with the competitors 
how to achieve our mission how to go with the vision of the company which is related to this particular project so being a project manager my responsibility is many so if you know the skills so you can easily relate the responsibility also like see to lead the people assign the task assign the task help them at various level and also strong leadership positive leadership. here i will i would like to add see in the organization all are all managers are managers but good managers are leader what i mean to say is suppose a manager who is performing his task as per the assigned thing as per the easily available resources as per the available what you call the time or human resource he is going to start the project he is going to implement the things as per the routine as per the bookish knowledge as per the his experience he is a simply manager same other manager with the same resources with the same of the things he is going to do something extra he is going to motivate the people in a different way to achieve more this type of characteristics within a manager is called as a leadership quality so that's why i'm saying that the all managers are managers but good managers are or the great managers are the leader so apart from the managing the people apart from the uh, communicating apart from the uh, managing with the client uh, and the parent organization they also have to monitor the performance cost and efficiency of all elements of the project and finally he has to see whether the project is going to be completed within the time or not let me add before moving to the next one about the project manager is 90% of the project manager task is mostly related with the communication communication here means communicating with their people with the people means those person those man a team members of that particular project how they are doing the things how they are working so communicating with them giving the responsibility to them taking the report from them through various medium it may be the through the meeting through the mail through the formal or informal communication also he has to communicate with the client if there is any changes how he will manage if there is any conflict what are the things he is communicated then again he has to communicate with his or origin company or parent company so 90% of the work of the manager is related with them so let us stop over here and we will further move in the next class from the same session session 1 and i i hope you understand this